I'm just cleaning up here tonight. Uh, it's got two of these to do. Uh, I got to clean up uh, just the rust and crusty old stuff here. The mating surfaces where it meets up against the knuckle or the hub on the truck. Um, I got a rebuild kit for this. Really good from uh, Ford. It's a proper rebuild. Uh, this one's, that's the number right there. All this gear was from Fairley and Stevens. Everything I got for the front end side that wasn't the leveling kit was all Ford. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so getting back for this, um, this one here, this is the O-ring that keeps the water from getting in the knuckle, in the hub. Um, uh, it's a, uh, this one right here, uh, which is the new one right here. It comes with a new C-clip for holding the, the, locking the axle into the hub. And this is the rebuild kit for the locker. This one here comes with a spare, couple screws, which is this one right here. Um, the gasket is right here, which is this one comes in the kit and then the screws, uh, which is these holes here. So it's kind of a proper rebuild kit for when you put the, take these hubs apart, either to do U-joints or do the bearing. Um, just to give you a little bit of background here, uh, we done the uh, U-joints, which is brand new from Ford. Uh, so they should last the rest of the truck. I haven't got the vacuum seal off yet, which is this new one right here. Uh, this one just comes off. So this is for your uh, vacuum side for your auto four-wheel drive. The, without this, it wouldn't be able to make keep a vacuum which keeps your four-wheel drive engaged. Uh, so this got to come off and a new one put on. So in order for all this to work, uh, this is the new setting tool that I bought, this big puppy. So this actually makes the proper depth uh, for in here. I'll show you in the knuckle. Yesterday, this thing coming mail. Amazon guy handed the box out to the window and I damn near almost dropped it on the ground. That is a solid piece of aluminum. I thought it was going to be like hard plastic or something. What a ton. I couldn't believe it. Anyways, that's going to be... Oh, there we go here. I'll just set my... Uh... There we go. And set my seal right so another piece of the puzzle and keep moving on but yeah i was waiting on that stuff that kind of slowed me down but clean up all this mating surfaces here scotch brighter this stuff is that brand brand new the trucks in 11 so and it's up in canada is what it is but getting back to this a little bit of a thing with the locker as you can see um right here the hub uh, this is in auto right now, and this is uh, lock. Uh, this is a little bit hard to turn right now. Uh, I got to work it. Uh, but as you can see right here, see these um, gears right here? Uh, this is auto right now. You can see the uh, it spins. So this right here, uh, the end of the, the shaft here, the spline, that goes in here, which is, holds your makes your four-wheel drive work. Uh, right now it's in auto. If I was to spin this to lock, it actually pushes this in here and forces it to lock this. But right now, the only way this can activate in the auto is vacuum, which is all provided by your seal, the vacuum pump in the truck, the lines and whatever else. But that's what makes this auto four wheel drive work, which is pretty cool. But Ford is a little complicated for four wheel drive. My old Duramax, uh simple Ooh, just an electronic actuator and whatever else and here what and way i go but with all this stuff here if this seal goes or something don't work right i gotta physically get out and lock her in which is okay but um but when it all works it's awesome i'm not used to the super duty it's my first one uh, i'm still learning uh but sometimes i'm i'm loving it but other times i'm like what is that but is this, and I'll show you how that goes. This technically, if you can picture it, this is your shaft coming out of your axle tube. Uh, that's your U-joint, and that's your uh, assembly there, and that's your bearing. And then that's how that works. So you can flip this over. Uh, this, uh, it's up in Canada, I know. It's a little rusty crusty. Uh, the gasket here, which is this one here, uh, that goes up against that and that, like I said, the O-ring um, goes right here to replace that from water getting in. 
if the water gets in past this gasket, which is this one. Uh, right here, this is, it's not that good, but the main thing is this O-ring don't leak. So that's why this is nice and clean. You don't want water getting in here, getting up against the bearing, getting in here and freezing, whatever else it does. But uh, moving forward, I'm going to be cleaning all this up. So if you can picture this, uh, this goes in here like that, slides in, and then, yeah. Anyway, so I've been on this thing. This is why I haven't been on the Super Duty. Uh, 08 Subaru. Uh, yeah, so you can see, mm, not there anymore. Uh, it is over there. Yes, one on the right, bad. Pistons and valve collided, time belt broke. As you can see, the time belt's hanging in the middle there, yes. New motor I bought, yeah. Uh, thought it was good. Valves and pistons didn't collide, which is the only thing good about it. Uh, it's got some issues, so got to tap the brakes, go back a little bit, spend a little bit more money, but at the end of the day, the motor's going to be good. All that stuff. Uh, moving on our own power. But yeah, that's why I'm a little bit held up, but it is what it is. All right, this stubborn thing wouldn't come out, so I got her nice and red. Let's see if I can see if she can come out. And, oh, look at that. Oh, gotta like that. There we go. <laughs> oh. These are the uh, shock extenders. It says on the paper that it's for a 11 to 16 Super Duty or newer or whatever, but uh, these don't fit. Actually, on the paper it says Silverado too, so I kind of figured when I seen that. Um, I had some issues, so uh, I did message the rep, and they said, yeah, they fit. And I said, well, they don't fit. He said, well, with some uh, some modification. And I guess that's some modification. Uh, I still got more to go. But anyways, uh, the nice little brackets. Just thought they would uh, fit right up instead of me taking a bunch of metal out of them. Here's what it is. I uh, already have to get in the line shaft in uh, as you can see uh, it's gone in through there and uh, as you can see the dust seal there and the knuckle and if you see that you turn turn the shaft there and it spins in the rubber seal so that's what that looks like and then the next thing like I say is this thing uh, it goes in here and I push it in uh, with the setting tool and it it actually hits this ridge and can't go any further so that's the next step um, uh, nice and slow, that's the way I roll, here's what it is. Uh, so I'll get on to the next one here, get this one off, move on, uh, get the other side on, get it all cleaned off, prepped, and get that one done. So, one thing at a time, yeehaw. I got that done, uh, as you can see, uh, it's set, there's a ridge uh, right here, it's set into here, um, so that's all done, and it's, uh, set into that seal there so as as i was telling you this was this is what i was trying to achieve uh, that goes in against the knuckle and you can't go any further so when that happens um, that means that this is set right you kind of know anyways because there is a bit of a ridge there uh, the bearings all, seems to be a little bit bigger and in that seal there's a little bump there that goes a little smaller and then that's what sits in there so um, and then this is able to spin in itself. The rubber stays out here, and this piece uh, is able to spin in this rubber. There's grease in the back of this in the middle, and I guess somehow it keeps a vacuum. If you can look up right here, uh, you can see a little pinhole. That's where the vacuum line comes in, and uh, that's how it does its old auto four wheel drive. Uh, so, yeah. Just a little bit of an information there and uh, moving forward I'm gonna start putting this bearing back up I got all this stuff cleaned up like I said and yeehaw all right so these here these were kind of stuck so I've been uh, soaking them in oil uh, which worked just doing some part cleaning on it now but uh, this used to be really hard to put in lock or auto and now they're pretty easy move them up a little bit and uh, should be perfectly fine. I like to clean them up and paint them but 
maybe some other time. But anything, that actually works good now. I don't have to take the pliers and all right, so just boogieing through here. Um, got the dust cover back on and the bearings in. New seal um, O-ring was put in here. Uh, so I'm just working on the last uh, on the last nut here for the four studs. So to get these all tight, uh, just slow and steady, uh, getting all these back here. I'm taking my time because this has been apart for a little while and uh, just kind of making sure that I don't forget anything but seems to be working out okay uh, put some never seize on these nuts because last time I had uh, had a hard time with it so I'll get the tor torques back on that and uh, get those done I gotta look that up got the passenger side hub blocker in I don't have the screws tightened yet but uh, anyways uh, this was painted so I cleaned these up a little bit of scaling off on the inside and outside so it looks a little better Inside right here where the uh, Where the axle shaft comes into the receiver whack that full of grease and where the auto four-wheel drive gears slide back and forth and all that springs Whack that full of grease. So that's all good in there. Just got to tighten these up like I said and uh, I painted this uh, Dust shield and just in around here just so it uh, looks a little better from rusty crusty. So moving forward slow and steady Come along. Got the uh, brake bracket back on, uh, rotors back on, uh, dust seal. Dust shield was uh, giving me a little bit of a hard time. Uh, Should have replaced that. When I put the bearing back on, I did notice at the time it was such a hard shape. Well, not in hard shape, but enough that I should have replaced it. So if it ever comes back off again, uh, I'll replace it then. But oops. Uh, the rotor. Where it was sitting for a little bit, it had a little bit of rusty crusty on it on the inside and outside. So I uh, cleaned that up in here and out there. And the radius arm, uh, I spray painted that just to make it a little bit pretty. And I ran the uh, ABS sensor wire. Just got to tighten that up, I'm happy where it's going. Uh, Dielectric grease in the plug. Uh, that's a big thing here up in Canada. Salt gets in there, gives you a little, uh, corrosion and gives you fault codes and traction traction control stuff and you don't want that so that's done and uh, I just got the sway bar laid in there right now uh, I'm not sure uh, what to do with that I might have to get a different bracket but I gotta do some more reading if that's enough but uh, yeah just come together gotta do the caliper brake shoes taking all that stuff back up this side to be done and then I'll start working on the other side slow and steady but uh, good time to bridge Woohoo! These things come in the mail, uh, rough country ones. Uh, I had to get longer brake lines, so I went with the braided kind just as well, and that'll give me better braking for the Super Duty, as well as it's um, six inches longer, and uh, will we'll, uh, work for me. These are a little bit too short, and uh, these are an upgrade to whatever I needed. So win-win, see how they go on. All right, so I didn't take any video of this. Uh, uh, so once I got this uh, brake line on, uh, ran into a problem with the Ford connector here. So I had to kind of uh, grind down this lip so it can go up and put the lock on. Uh, the other lip uh, is a little different, other lock, so this worked. And my buddy Andrew dropped in, give me a hand. So we got all the Brakes all bled, uh, yeah, everything tightened up, so good little job. This is looking good, and same for the other side. Had to do the same thing, uh, just had to customize this, and it worked out all right. Uh, yeah, just gotta clean up a little bit. Job well done. Ooh. Almost a roller. What do you say? Almost a roller on its own wheels again. Almost. Be something nice to see it. It's been around for almost a year. This thing never moved. Well, more and more. Let's not talk about that. <laughs>